just got to put the bannon out on the other side of this put a little bit of duct tape on that bit there so we don't get the wind behind it and then move it to the other side of the yard get the cherry pick and put the banner on can you give me a 10 floor on the big rig just backing it up moving it to the other side of the yard it's an animal let me flip the camera Got a flat tire on the 1455, so it's gonna blow it up the air compressor on the fast track. And then we're gonna service that ready for tomorrow. Get some lights on it. The then we'll probably start on big red. And get some lights on that ready for taking it to the village hall. Rob the case specialist is here sorting out the tractors. Rich has washed the Merlot and it's caught like new. He's back. He looks a bit more like Mr. Frosty than the snowman. He needs a wash now. Rich is going to do a demonstration of what happens when he gets up to speed because sometimes he waves his arms. There he comes. Ha! It almost looks like we know what we're doing with the big steps as well. Slight issue with the 1455 when it's under full revs, it's losing power. We don't know whether it's air or a fuel problem. <laughs> what are you doing, Chester? Brush me here. So we think the 1455 had just run out of diesel, so we filled it up with diesel and Jamie's now gonna go round and round and round the block and hope that it's working all right and we don't have any problems with it because we don't want it conking out tomorrow. You running round? <laughs> just putting the lights now on the 1455. Are these packs all the same? Yeah. You could change colour with these ones. It's pretty handy. Oh, drop me one. That's to protect my finger where I squashed it yesterday. It's 10 to 4 and it's obviously completely daylight. So last year when we went to set off, we were going to set off at 4 and we found that it was too light. So we waited. I think we were left at half 4 last year. Anyway, this year we're leaving at 6.15 and that was so that we didn't clash with the Liverpool match because we, didn't, we thought people would be watching the Liverpool match. Anyway, the Liverpool match has now been cancelled because of COVID. So we could have left, I don't know, maybe half four, five o'clock, and then it wouldn't be as late at night for the kids, but most of them have broken up to school. Anyway, this one is now finished with the banner on the other side. So as soon as my dad's finished filling the boiler up with chip, we'll move this back over to that side. And then I think tomorrow morning at about half seven, we're hopefully doing something on BBC Breakfast, which will be really good, because then that'll give us national coverage. So hopefully we'll get even more donations because we'll cover the whole country rather than just the local news. And then we can hopefully get to the 100 grand. Got this, which is quite nifty. So that goes in the cigarette lighter, gives you three USBs, and that's an extension with a clip on. So it gives you another two USBs. So it's ideal for an ear. So we can power the USB in the back corner now, and then power the USBs in that corner without having to have wires trailing all around the cab. Yesterday, when we put the class away, for some reason, one of the battery packs managed to fall off the spoke and get caught in the tracks and munch the battery pack up. So. I've got a spur one now that I'm going to put on and I'm going to make sure it's properly fastened so it doesn't fall off but I've been here for 10 minutes because Radio 5 Live now I want to talk about the story tomorrow so that's even better because that's again national coverage which is what we want if we want to hit the 100,000 so hopefully they're going to do something 9 o'clock-ish in the morning hopefully after BBC Breakfast at 7 o'clock but I haven't heard back from BBC Breakfast yet despite them saying we'll ring you later but they are always a little bit last minute Jamie's trying to find the air on switch it's on the right of the dashboard. It's on the right of the dashboard. Proper loud then. Jamie's just noticed that these two tractors, probably because they've got the same tyres, are basically identical in size, apart from one is about 80 horsepower more than the other. You see even the, even the roof line and the tyres and the width and the length. 1455's finished. 
and then the 936 is in the back there, finished. Got the rest of the black light around this side. Christmas tree on the front, glowing, really green. And then we've even got this as well on the side, shining down, laser for the crowd. That's the 1455. Don't really need something around the back of the cab, actually. Right, like I say, Thomas Plant lends us three of these lighting towers. So let's see what we do in the dark. <laughs> Start it up. I think you have to wait for it to check and then you press the button. And then a little timer goes and it starts up. And then I think the lights just come on automatically once it starts. He says, that's how dark the yard is. Turn that off and then we can get a full effect. Wow! It's like daylight. And we got three of them as well. Proper then. You also hire out other things other than lights. They do like diggers, tractors, everything you can think of. Let's turn the lights off and then you can see the difference. The lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Don't forget, if you get ready to pause your TV set now, you can pause on that and you can scan it off your phone and go on the Just Give It and Donate, or you can text Tractor to 70450 and then that goes, that donates £5 as well. Someone said that was watching that if every one of my subscribers texts, that five pound would have 130,000 without even any of the tractor driver donations, which is currently around 12,000. Right, we've decided to put some more around the back, but we've run out of these clips. You see them little plastic clips there? We've used over 500 in the last few days, and we've got to sort of like sort that out a bit better because that looks a bit stupid. But this is another one done. These are a bit annoying though. I've had to duct tape these on with the red duct tape because there's not really anything to mount to and the battery clips were coming off the back but that red duct tape blends in really nicely we've put well Jamie's put some little stick men on the side of the tractor the 936 they're just various different sizes though for some reason <laughs> what went wrong what, with the stick men I suppose yeah, I don't know whether we need something on the front of this though. What do people think? I think it's a bit burr. Ooh. We found out why it was cutting out anyway. It was basically the fuel tank was empty. And what fuel was in it? it was white because it's obviously come back from Poland. Ta-da! Yeah, opening the bonnet with the lights on the side wasn't a good idea because now we've got to put them back on again. But we couldn't get the cable tie threaded through the front without it. That's about all for today. Tomorrow is going to be a long day. I've got to go up at 6.30 because we're doing BBC Breakfast. So they're ringing me at 7 on FaceTime or Zoom or whatever it is. And then that will be live at 7.20. Then as soon as I've finished that, we're doing something on Radio 5. We've got the BBC coming to film us going off and at Alderhay and hopefully to the food bank. So that'll give us some plenty of coverage for the local news as well. And they're going to cover it again the next day. So we are, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get to the 100,000 that we're trying to raise. But don't forget, if you can, text Tractor to 70450. It'd be brilliant. But also, this is just giving if you're feeling a bit more generous. So thanks for watching. Here's the birthday bumper outro and I'll see you all tomorrow. Actually, one last thing. If we're going to put three tractors on the TV tomorrow in the morning, just in the backdrop, which one should we pick? Leave a comment below.